what up though what's going on how you guys doing if you are seeing this right now that means i've had a productive day it also means you're tuned in but if you're liking commenting and subscribed that means you fuck with me which means i fuck with you period <laughs> I'm smiling right now, but there's nothing funny about this video. It's nothing funny about this time of my life. Um, like I said in the last couple of videos about ghosts, I'm laughing because I'm uncomfortable. This will be the last story on my main channel about ghosts and this space in my life because it gets too real. It gets traumatic it gets crazy it gets unbelievable but it's my story and i'm gonna tell it as i always say i felt like besides his mental issues my mental issues around this time because baby depression is real a uh, bipolar disorder is real um I had never been diagnosed with anything, but I was definitely depressed. Looking back on a lot of the decisions I was making and a lot of things that were happening around me that I continued to let happen and that I just kind of festered in instead of listening to people that love me, instead of listening to people that had been through similar situations, especially with me, and, you know, instead of listening to the right thing to do, I kind of stay in the space of making bad decisions and making worse decisions and feeling like, why me? Why me? So around this time, just to keep up with the timeline, um, after Ghost had left and uh, we kind of broke up because he had cheated on me. He had got him a STD. He almost gave it to me. Thank God he didn't. Uh, we still tried to make it work, but we kept up the heads. We kept getting into it. He he had put holes in the wall while we was arguing. He would break all my phones when we would get into it. Like, he never put his hands on me, but it was definitely some verbal abuse. It was definitely some mental abuse. Like, had me sitting, staring at the wall, trying to figure out, like, what is going on? What is wrong with this man? What can I do? What did I do? But at the same time, I was still entertaining RJ. And, you know, I feel like Ghost might have had an idea because sometimes I would go out and be gone all night. Sometimes I would spend the night out and just say I was at Angel's house. Or, so it started getting like that towards the end when he had left. So he left and he was gone for almost a year. While he was gone, that's when... The whole Terrell thing happened, one bad decision, and then I jumped right into the old man situation. Go back and watch those videos. I will tag them below. Anything I say, if I'm mentioning people that you don't know, they're going to be tagged below. I always tag related stories in the description box, so check it out. Also, two membership videos will be posted by the time you guys see this, so check that out as well. <sighs> I also told you about all the times that Ghost had been to jail. Y'all, he definitely went to jail one more time, but it's really not significant. Just like the last story referred to that one, he went to jail. I was losing my mind trying to find out how to get him out. He ended up getting shipped to all these different counties. And he was finally released, probably. The last time he went to jail while we were together, he was probably in there for like a month another month y'all so he eventually comes back and when he came back y'all i was going through it the day after me and leprechaun fought when or maybe that next weekend when lucky was coming to get the twins and i told him not to bring her my car was in the driveway before he got there so I think I was either trying to go home and maybe have the twins get picked up from home, but my car wouldn't start. And I'm like, I know I don't got to put this in the shop. Like I still owe money on this car. Like I'm overdue with paying. And 
it's not even starting y'all that's because the company had cut the car off and not even 25 minutes later of the car not starting somebody was hiking it up on the tow truck so luckily they let me get my stuff out that car because i never seen that car again y'all i let it go so right after they take my car lucky pulls up i see leprechaun coming down the street from the corner like all that shit happened like the same day so i'm going through it so i actually might have messed up the timeline i think the fight with leprechaun happened before my little relationship with old man because that's when i got the jeep liberty and all that happened with old man so i might have missed the timeline up a little bit but this all is happening while ghost is gone so the time by the time ghost comes back that's when um the jeep liberty ends up going down but while ghost was gone he had got him a car you feel me so he comes back i'm not working at the airport with uh what did i call Angel's cousin, Jocelyn. I'm working at the airport with Jocelyn. Ghost is back. He's still doing his moving shit. I'm still doing a little bit of cleaning on the side. Because now that he's back, a lot of his customers be neat and cleaning. So, I'm doing cleaning. I'm doing the airport. And um, I also was working for a company cleaning schools. So, when he came back, like I said, my life was in shambles. The car was gone. He had a car, thank God. You know what I mean? The whole time he was gone, he was definitely sending me money. He was coming through anytime I needed him to. So him coming back was like a relief for me. I felt like I needed him. I felt like he was he was always that man. He was always that, I'm going to get the money. You take all the money and you do what we need to do because we're a family. He always gave me that feeling. So him coming back after dealing with the shit with Terrell and the shit with old man, I felt like this is my man. Like I needed you. I don't want you to leave ever again. Like we need to make this work because you are the man for me. You get the shit done. You complete me. You, you make me feel good. You make me feel safe. You make everything in my life just work out. Like when you're around, when you're here, when you participate in my life, it goes right. When he left, shit went crazy like i was barely home so the house would be looking crazy because when i say the twins would be gone for the summertime i mean like lucky would keep them for majority of the week and then they would come like on the weekend or every other weekend like he didn't keep them for the whole summer just completely but he would switch to having them majority of the time and then i would be like a weekend parent instead of like when they in school i have them most of the time and then you know, around this time, we back on, like, he doing every other weekend, basically. So, y'all, yeah. Ghost comes back. He comes back, and he's trying to help me get it back together. I was barely home. So, you know, the house was a little, was a little all over the place. I would be cleaning up that back room. The ceiling kept falling in, y'all. We did that ceiling probably three times while we were together before he left and then when he came back it's falling in again the house needed so much work um the basement i let my brother bring all his tools and like all this other stuff in the basement so the basement is not even functioning it's just like a storage space all i have is the twins room and my room the kitchen the floor was coming up we actually did redo the floor because the tiles for me mopping and using a whole bunch of water had started like whelping y'all this house was looking crazy like i would clean it i would make it smell good you know but it needed some major work it needed some construction going on so we actually had took the floor up we was in the middle of redoing the kitchen floor when ghost came back so he started helping with that like he came back and we just got right up, right back into our motion. He would take me and drop me off at work. He would keep the girls um, or my mom would keep them in the daytime. He would go and do his moving and we're back into our motion. I missed him. I needed him. I'm feeling like we're getting back where we need to be. Everything's going to be good, right? We're getting money. My kids are safe. I'm safe. We got a car. We good. Since he had just came back, he had to get his clientele in Detroit, in the metro Detroit area. He had to get it back up. So eventually, months are passing. Um, he starts to need help. Like he would go and pick 
up Sloth's brother sometimes. He had a cousin that he started doing um, the moving with, but if they weren't available, he needed somebody to help at a drop of a dime anytime. He ends up telling me that he wants his brother to basically move in. He's like, you know, all that back and forth he used to do, like catching the bus back out to Flint and coming back. Like, he, he don't want to do that. He like, he might as well just stay here so we can get this money. Right? I'm like, I mean, he was basically staying here before. Like, what's the difference? Like, okay, he can, he can stay here. So, y'all, the brother comes back. I probably say maybe like a week or something after he first said like okay my brother is gonna come back the brother comes back with a girl like he knocked on the door i guess he had caught a cab it was ubers around this time i guess he had caught an uber from the greyhound and he gets out the car with this girl it's a white girl and i can't really remember her name i want to call her becky but i feel like that was her real name I don't know. It really don't matter because who knows this bitch? Nobody. So I'm just call her Becky, but I really think that's her real name. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. So I see the brother. I'm looking through the window. I see the brother get out the Uber or whatever with this white girl. They got bags and luggage. and You know what I'm saying? I'm like, who the fuck is this girl? So they walk in the house and his brother, what I call him, Tommy, he wasn't really a social person like he barely talks you know so i'm pretty sure he walked in and was like oh hey and i'm like hey you know what i'm saying it was no conversation had ghost already told me that he was basically coming back to stay with us so that they could get this money and get these jobs done without him having to run around the world and picking people up to get the jobs done but this girl you know she introduced herself she walks in she like hi i'm becky da, 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 da. i'm his girlfriend da, da, da. i hope you don't mind if i stay here i know we're gonna be looking for a place i think she had like section eight so she was looking for a place i guess they was going she was gonna take her section eight to detroit and i'm just looking at her like okay um she was cool she was short she had like a nice she had a nice shape for a white girl, but she was definitely giving trailer park trash. You know what I'm saying? She just had that look. She had that look about her. She had a big old, big old butt, big old thighs, you know, kind of small at the top. Teeth looking right it out. These thick glasses, you know, dirty looking hair. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Becky, Becca, Becky. Okay. So, you know, as the introductions get out the way i put ghosts you know to the room and i'm like well, you didn't say that this girl was coming and he was like yeah i guess you know she she just left she didn't have nothing going on there you know maybe she can help you with the cleaning like because i need my brother here so she just came with him like is that a problem and i'm like yeah it is but whatever you know what i'm saying so he ends up telling me that they gonna um get a room or whatever like they're not gonna be here all the time like when they get paid at, on the weekends they gonna get a room for the weekend so it's not like they gonna be here every day all day i'm like okay whatever so y'all time is going on i'm still working at the airport um they getting the job done i don't really have an issue with the girl becca like he said they're barely there like they leave and get rooms on the weekend during the week you know what i'm saying they working all day she'll be at the house just sleeping i'll be you know at the house with the twins or i'll take the twins somewhere or i would go sit at my mama's house so i'm barely seeing becca but she is there and then they leave on the weekend and you know it's just me and the twins at the house on the weekend so Y'all, this is how I'm living. She, This probably was going on for about a month. Right? So, around this time, this is when Angel is with Snake. You know what I'm saying? They got their whole life going on down there. I did drop the first Snake series. So, go watch that. That was happening. I think right when Ghost came back, all that was happening with Angel and Snake. So, eventually... You know, Becca is at my house, even when the twins are with their dad. You know, me, Angel, and Becca would be chilling and drinking. I try to get Becca to come out a couple times, like just come and chill. Like, we'll go down to Angel's house and, you know, we will all be cool. Like, the bitch is here, so we might as well, you know, get to know her. Like, 
let her come outside because the guys would be at work and she would just be laying around sleep. So it's like, well, let's go down to Angel House. So instantly, Angel was not a fan of Becca. Becca was very opinionated. She was very loud. You know what I'm saying? She was not a timid, quiet white girl she would hop in the conversation if she disagreed she would be like no because of the, you know what i'm saying she was very in your face with it and angel you know just meeting her was kind of put off a little bit like especially if angel would be saying something and becca would disagree she would kind of look at me like why is this bitch even talking to me so angel was not feeling becca at all also, around this time, I told you how Angel had all these people at her house, y'all. So, I remember being over there one day, and Becca was sitting on the couch, and she like, you know, something bit me, right? So, she goes, Becca goes to Angel's bathroom, and she come back out with her whole, she come back out with her whole ass cheek out. She's trying to show us, and mind you, it's me, Angel, Snake, I think Snake brother, and Snake mama was sitting in the living room, and Becca comes out the bathroom with her whole ass cheek showing like, look, look, look. And she had this trail of like red dots going up her thigh. And she like, do you have bed bugs? So Angel like, bed bugs? So she get to look it in the couch that Becca was sitting on. And sure enough, she found a bed bug. She found like two or three bed bugs. So instantly I'm like, ooh. You know what I'm saying? Let me grab my purse. Like, I'm going to go because I'm not playing that bed bug game. I don't know if y'all ever had bed bugs, but they they travel, okay? They cling on to you and they go wherever you go. You get one on your clothes, you're going to have an infestation at your house. So I'm like, oh, girl, I need to go. Like, not even trying to be funny, but she like, no, nah, for real. Like, how did I get bed bugs? So now she mad, but I'm thinking like, you be having all these people in and out your house, all snake family members, and no telling where else they be laying their head. They didn't brought bed bugs into your crib. Like that's a whole issue, right? So me and Becca, we end up walking back down the street to my house. So the whole time we walking, she like, girl, cause that is so trifling. She really needs to get that together. I'm like, chill out. You know what I'm saying? She didn't even know. Like you clearly the first one that got bit. I don't know if she knew. I have never got bit over there. You know, I barely be over there anymore. But when I do, I sit on the couch. I've never gotten bit. So like, just chill on my bitch. Like chill on Angel. Okay. I know it's crazy. I know it's like, ooh, bed bugs, but you know, Angel is not a triplet person. She about to get it together. I'm just not about to go back over there. She like, yeah, because I don't give a fuck. I don't care about none of that. Bed bugs is uh, uh, uh. I'm like, okay, relax, Becca. Relax, right? But it's still like, y'all, bed bugs. Angel do need to get that together. You need to get the people out your house, girl, but that's a whole nother story. So, y'all, um, I think the day is going on. The guys end up coming back and... Tommy and Becca are going to go to a room where I guess it was a Friday. So as soon as the guys get there, Becca cannot wait to tell Ghost and Tommy that Angel has bed bugs. So now Ghost looking at me like, you was down there? And I'm like, yeah. He like, did you change your clothes? You got to take your clothes off at the door. Da, da, da. I'm like, yes, I left the clothes outside. You know what I'm saying? I took everything off, put it straight in the washer. You know what I mean? Like, I know how to make sure they don't come over here. He like, don't go. I don't want you over there no more. I'm like, okay, ghost, calm down. Like, you know, our our setup over here is not the best. We don't we don't got no bed bugs. Don't get me wrong, but we we ain't living in luxury. So y'all can chill on my bitch, like chill because we over here packed up in this house like some fucking bums like stop don't do that so y'all the weekend passes or whatever um becca and tommy had got a room so when they come back on monday i think um i think i was off for a couple days i can't really remember what was going on i think um ghost had like all these jobs so i ended up not even being able to go to work i think i had it took a couple days off work so y'all um angel is up calling me while i'm in my room i'm in my room with the door closed the guys are gone becca is out on the couch so i got angel on speakerphone and she like yeah i called the bed bug you know exterminator and you know he was being very unprofessional he act like he wanted 
some pussy for him to come and exterminate my house. And I'm like, what? I'm just listening to her like, what? She like, yeah. I asked him how much. And he like, well, it depends if you can give me something else. And we start laughing. I'm like, girl, where did you find him at? Like, no, you need to <laughs> call somebody else. Like, did you get him off of Google? Well, he like a hookup. You need to call Google. Just pay the price to get it really done. Like, no. Like, just throw the couch out. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just talking. So... Um, Angel ends up coming down to my house, I believe, uh, like she had walked down to my house and we were sitting on the porch. So me and her sitting on the porch, I believe we had got a bottle and, um, she was telling me like, yeah, they about to go over to Snake. Somebody Snake, no, they going over to Snake People House. She like, you should come. And I'm like, well, you know. Becca here, you know what I'm saying, I don't really want to leave her, so I say, as soon as I say that, Becca comes out the door like, oh, can I go, can I ride with you guys, and Angel looking at me like, yeah, I guess you could go, Becca, since you here, I'm like, you know, Becca, cool, I'm gonna give her a little pep talk, like, we about to be surrounded by a whole bunch of black people, and some pe black people don't really like white people, so I'm gonna just need you to, you know, minimize everything that you be commenting on and you know everybody don't know how to take all of that so just minimize the shit that you be saying like you don't have to comment and have an opinion on everything that somebody says like sometimes you could just sit back and chill and observe you know what i'm saying you don't have to comment on everything she like no it's cool it's cool i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that i already know we going with her people so i'm not gonna do that i'm like okay cool so y'all i um we go to the store and get another bottle because the one that angel had came down the street with was gone snake had ended up pulling up on you know what i feel like i had got a car i mean i guess that don't matter for this part but i know i'm skipping past at this point when you know angel got this infestation and becca is at my house it probably has been like maybe four or five months since ghost has even been back you know home you feel me? So time is passing. Like I'm fast forwarding. Y'all gotta know at this point, my stories are never just one story this one night. Like my story be <laughs> damn near covering years of happenings. So anyway, um, yeah, we go to the store and we get another bottle. So when we walk in the store, people is all over Becca because she's, you know, she's a white girl. She she got that trashy look, but she definitely got, you know, a nice ass. So people is really on her head in the store and she looking at me like she nervous. She like, oh my God, why is this happening? Why does this keep happening? And I'm like, girl, you a white girl in the hood with a fat ass. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's going to happen. Just ignore it. You know what I'm saying? Just smile and laugh and keep it moving. I know you got a man. They don't know you got a man. So, you know what I'm saying? Just chillax. So, <laughs> we get the bottle or whatever. Uh, Becca had grabbed the bottle out of the little spinny thing on the counter. So, she grabs the bottle and we walk it back out to the car. Becca puts the bottle in the trunk. Snake is driving. Angel's in the front seat. Me and Becca is in the back. We walk out of the liquor store. Becca opens Snake's trunk and puts the bottle in the trunk. So, Snake is like looking in the review mirror because mind you he didn't get off the car they go in the store with us because he wasn't paying for shit so i guess he said i'm just gonna stay in the car y'all he turning around like looking in his review mirror like is this bitch opening my trunk and then i'm looking at her like why is you putting a bottle in the trunk she like you guys want to ride with a bottle in the car what if we get pulled over and i'm like girl we we not thinking about that like Give me the bottle. We about to pour up right now. Like, I mean, what she said makes sense. But why are you making decisions for a bottle that you didn't even pay for? Like, give me the bottle. Like, what are you doing? So, y'all, we in the car. We get to pouring up our drinks. Snake is driving us over to his people house. We pull up. It's just a whole bunch of niggas, a whole bunch of people outside. Becca's like, like she don't want to get out the car. She like, why are we over here with all these guys? Like, you know, Tommy's going to be mad and Ghost is going to be mad. And I'm like, girl, they are at work. Like, we not doing nothing wrong. We just pulling up on people. Like, we got a bottle. We, let's just socialize. Like, we don't, we're not doing anything wrong. Like, chill out. Y'all. Yeah. So, all the guys end up 
going in the house or whatever and it's me angel becca and it's like two other females that angel knew because these are snake people so angel knew them we just all sitting on the porch we just all talking why the fuck so angel is talking to one of the girls about the bed bug situation she's telling her what she had told me on the phone about the big bug guy kind of trying to get some favors for the extermination she was like yeah like that nigga was tripping and da, 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 da. so here go becca you were gonna fuck the bed bug guy to get rid of the bed bugs angel like bitch what she like does your boyfriend know that the snake know that you were gonna fuck the bed bug guy <laughs> Angel like, bitch, if you don't shut the fuck up talking to me, we're talking about my boyfriend and what the fuck he knows, shut the fuck up. You talk too much. And she like, oh, Ebony, I'm ready to go. I'm going to call Tommy. I'm ready to go. I don't want to be over here. Why the fuck she take the bottle out of Angel hand? Y'all, it took everything in me to stop Angel from pulling this girl hair. Like, Angel has the bottle and she like, you know, she got one foot on the stairs and she talking to somebody that's sitting on the porch. So, Becca is standing over on the side by me just commenting on what Angel was talking about. Talking about her boyfriend and, well, are you going to tell your boyfriend? Does your boyfriend know you about to fuck the big bug man? And Angel standing there like, what? With the bottle in her hand. So when Becca is, oh, I'm ready to go. I'm about to call Tommy. I don't want to be here. She snatched the bottle out of Angel's hand and like walked down the, the walkway. So Angel like, and I'm still standing on the porch like, Angel, no. Angel turned around and went to reach for her hair. I grabbed Angel like, girl, please no. Like, I grabbed her hand back and was like holding her. She was like, Ebony, you better get that bitch. I don't know what the fuck she ate in her cereal this morning. I don't know what steroids she thinks she took today. But she about to get these hands. Like, what the fuck is wrong with her? I'm like, oh, Becca, you really do got some balls. Like, what did you do? What are you doing? Y'all, Becca was so... But don't worry. She gonna get her. She was just so... Like I said, her. she was very opinionated. And she was very in your face. And it was very like... You acting like you really know these people. When I barely know you. You barely know me. You're just around. And you, you trying to, you know, include yourself in these conversations that you... You have nothing to do with. You don't know these people. They don't have no love for you. They don't have no respect for you. And you're not working on getting none of that because you just be saying shit out the side of your neck. Like you won't get snatched up. Y'all, I just had to tell that part because Angel, I literally had to stop Angel from whooping her ass right then and there. So she gets in the car and she's basically like i'm ready to go so angel is calling snake like snake let's drop this bitch off like ebony you coming back here i'm like no because i'm not about to leave becca at my house by herself y'all could just drop us back off y'all we get back to the house she is blowing tommy phone up so i get the call and ghost he like what's wrong i'm like i just had to stop angel from whooping becca ass like she be tripping he like i don't understand why you took her over there anyway and i'm like you right i just didn't want to leave her here i thought maybe we could just you know go have a couple of drinks and have some fun like but maybe don't know how to act and she like he like don't take her anywhere else like that's not gonna work out i don't know what the fuck y'all doing just sit there and chill till we come back and i'm like okay y'all so that happened and honestly it this is why this is gonna be the last part to this story because it, it gets crazy. My mom ends up coming over to my house, kind of unannounced. I had talked to her, but I did not know she was coming. So when she comes, you know, me and Ghost, Tommy and Becca is there. And then, you know, the twins are there. So she walks in and she's like looking around and she's like, who, who are these people? You know what I mean? And I'm like, oh, this is Becca. You know, this, you know, Tommy, this is ghost brother and she just looking around she just looking like you know they have been smoking it's probably 
bottles on the living room table. The twins' room was probably a mess because, you know, it takes me a minute for me to clean up. Like, I clean for a living so I can clean, but sometimes life just be life it, and it take a couple days for me to be like, okay, let me clean up. So the house was really looking like a mess. The twins' room was looking like a mess. They hadn't got dressed for the day. Their hair was all over their head. So it's looking like some real ghetto bullshit, and now my mama probably on her way to church or on her way back from church walking in smell like weed you see the liquor you see these two white people you see ghosts you see the twins running around with their hair looking crazy it's looking like what the fuck you know and i didn't realize it until my mama got there and was looking around like what's going on over here you know what i mean and i'm like what but then i'm looking around like mm. You know, I feel like you're judging me right now. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, shit should be cool. Like, you know, everything, everything is everything. And she like, Eb, I'm going to call you later. We need to talk. I'm like, okay. Mom, like, see you later. You know, when she left, I actually did clean up because she made me feel bad. Like, she made me feel like, girl, you over here living like, what? You looking like, what? Like, what's going on? And it was just like... You know, I got to go to work tonight. Let me clean up. You know, I think she was keeping the girls that day. So, you know, I dropped the girls off over there and I took my ass to work. So another couple of days passed and me and my mom hadn't really talked. And she was saying, like, we need to talk. So she told me, um, I think a couple of days later, like, hey, you know, come over here. When you drop the girls off before you go to work, like, I want to talk to you. So come a little early. I'm like, okay. So I get ready for work. I mean, the twins head over to my mom's house and she's sitting at the table ready to talk. So I sit down and I'm like, hey, ma, you know, what's up? And she like, Ebony, I don't really understand what's going on down the street at your house, but I'm not, I'm not okay with it. And I'm kind of like, what you, what you mean? She like, you got, you know, his brother staying there with that girl. You know, it's just not seeming like a safe environment for the twins. And in my head, you know, they work together. That's Ghost's brother. And now Ghost's girlfriend is there. I mean, Tommy's girlfriend is there, which I was getting tired of her. Definitely didn't want her at my house. But this, I'm, we just getting in how we live right now. And I'm, you know, from the outside looking in, it's looking crazy. But from the inside, we got a plan. We got money put up. We got money saved. You know what I'm saying? We about to fix the house up. Like, and I'm explaining all that to her. And she's basically like, why do you have to do that with all those people there? Like, why are you letting them live there? And I'm like, you know, we just one big happy family. And she's like, I Ebony, mean, I don't agree with it. Like, if you want the twins to stay here while y'all figure it out, like, those people basically need to go, like, including ghosts. And I'm like, you know, if you've watched my other ghost stories, my mom never really did care for ghosts. And I felt like because it was because he, he wasn't black, like, not being racist, but definitely being, like, prejudiced, like, you know, he wasn't black, so she never really got a feel for him. He was always socially awkward at any of the get-togethers. So she never, she never liked him. And then Tommy, you know, his name is Tommy because he is fully white. You know what I'm saying? They got the same mama, but Tommy daddy was white. So he's like a white man. He looked like Leonardo DiCaprio. And then the girlfriend, she's white. So it's like, it's just looking crazy from the outside and I'm trying to explain to my mama what the plan is and she like if you want the twins to stay here while y'all figure it out then we could do that because I'm not agreeing with your living situation I'm just not liking it and in my head I'm kind of taking offense because it's like I'm grown as hell I pay my own bills you help me out a lot with the girls you know what I mean because I work night shifts so when I got the girls I'll be needing somebody to keep them. And if, you know, Ghost is not available or I'm feeling like I don't want him to keep them, you know, you always be helping me. But, you know, I make my own decisions. I'm feeling, like, attacked at this point. I'm really feeling attacked. Like, I understand the kitchen floor, we ripped it up, but we haven't put it back down yet. The back room is yellow tape. Nobody goes back there because the ceiling is falling in. It's a lot going on in my life at this point. And now my mama is basically telling me that the twins could stay at her house because I need to get my shit together. And the whole time I'm thinking I'm getting my shit together, but it's not good enough for her. It's not up to her standards and I feel judged. I feel like 
damn, like I can't just get it how I live. I can't just figure it out. I have to be doing what you want me to do and how you want me to do it. And because it's not looking right to you, now you basically saying my kids can't live with me. My man can't live with me. My man and his brother and his brother's girlfriend can't live with me. I just felt like my mama had me fucked up at the time. You know what I mean? But looking back, it's like, okay, I see how it looked and why she felt the way she felt. But at the same time, I was grown. And I felt like, okay, ma, whatever. Like, I heard you. I hear what you're saying. We could talk about it another time. I got to go to work. So, y'all, a couple weeks passed. And um, eventually, me and Ghost start to get in room because I believe... Something had happened with the kitchen sink, y'all. I think it was either, like, starting to get cold and, like, the pipes had froze. It was something where the kitchen sink water wasn't working. The house was just... We would start getting rooms because we just didn't want to sleep in the house. It was getting to a point where we're not fixing stuff fast enough. You know, um, Tommy and Becca always be getting rooms. A room just, sound, a room just sounded fun. It sounded like a little stay away, a little getaway. We got like a room one weekend and then we started getting them every weekend. Like we didn't have a whole house to fix up and live in. So we started getting these rooms, y'all. Eventually, I think we came back after one weekend and I walk in the house and the toilet is missing from my bathroom. Right? So I walk in the house, I'm thinking, you know, I think I'm about to get ready for work. I had already dropped the girls off for this weekend. And I'm like, where the fuck is the toilet? So I called my mom like, mom, where's the toilet? Did you come down here and do something with the toilet? She like, if you haven't even been there, that house needs to get worked on. I had your brother take the toilet out. Um, you and the twins just need to come here so we can get the house together. da 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 da, da. And I'm just on the phone like, ma, this is, you know, I know I haven't been here, but why would you take the toilet out of the house? I'm feeling attacked. I'm feeling like my mom is against me. My mom is working against me. My mom is putting me out of my own house. How are we going to even, we can't even spend the night here without no toilet. Without the toilet, we can't even spend the night here. So I'm telling Ghost, and he like, you know what, Ebony? We could just get this room for the month. We can get it monthly and, you know, fuck her, fuck your family. They don't want us to be together. They don't understand what we got going on. They don't see the vision. They don't understand the dream. Da, 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 da. And I'm feeling like left or right, ghost or my mom. And the twins are going to be with me. I don't, I don't care what you're talking about. Like, we could go to your house and we could sleep at your house and we could be there. But my babies are going to be with me. I'm not moving in with you and I have a whole house. Why did you take my toilet? I'm feeling attacked by my own mother at this point. On top of having to work at the airport. On top of still dealing with Lucky and Leprechaun. Because it was still tension. It was still drama. You know what I'm saying? I'm still dealing with them. I'm dealing with Ghost's brother and Becca. And then I'm still dealing with Ghost. So I got all of this going on in my head, in my life, in my mental right now. It's me, Becca, Tommy, and Ghost in this room with two beds. So in the morning, the guys leave. I'm still laying in the bed. You know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking about life. I'm just trying to figure out why my mama is against me why did my brother take the toilet out i'm just laying in the bed i'm asleep but i'm just still trying to think about life like what's really about to happen what am i gonna do you know what i mean i have a house and here i am laying in this hotel room like and when the twins do come back we stay at my mama house but what am i gonna do y'all this is this is where I'm at mentally. So I'm laying down in the bed. All the lights are off in the room. Becca is on the other bed. So as I'm laying there, eyes closed, just still thinking about my life, like I said. 
Becca turns on the TV. She turns on the light in the middle of the beds, and she turns on the light that's next to like TV where the desk and stuff is. She turns on the light, she turns up the TV. And I'll turn around and I'll look. And I'm like, okay, I guess it's time to get up. This bitch cutting on all the lights and cutting on the TV, turning it up loud. Like, let me go and get some breakfast. So I get up, I go to the lobby and I go and get like a bagel and some cream cheese. And I think I had got like a bowl of cereal or whatever. So I come back to the room. I'm sitting at the desk, you know, putting the cream cheese on my bagel. Right? I haven't said anything to her. She haven't said anything to me. At this point, after the whole situation with Angel, you know, I barely speak to her unless I have to. Like, we in this room together because our, both of our men are at work. We're waiting for them to come back so we could go our separate ways. You know what I mean? Because I believe this was going to be our last night in the room with them. Like, the next day, you know, Ghost was going to get a room and I was going to go home. Well, I was going to go to my mom's house with the twins, so whatever like i'm sitting at the desk putting the cream cheese on my bagel and about to eat my cereal and now i'm watching the tv because she was the one that cut the tv on she cut all the lights on and basically woke me up so now i'm up y'all as i'm sitting back in the chair just like this actually i'm sitting back in the chair watching the tv that's like sitting right here this girl gets up cuts the fucking lights off and then cuts the TV off. As I'm up now, trying to eat my bagel and watch TV, she cuts everything back off. And then she gets in the bed. So I got the bagel in my hand like, what the fuck is wrong with this bitch? So I see the remote like sitting on her bed, like on the edge. So I get up, get the remote, and I go to cut the TV back on. Y'all, when I tell you this bitch gets up out of the bed again and tried to snatch the remote out of my hand. So I see her working towards me. So I'm holding on to the remote. She tried to snatch it and I pull it back like, what is wrong with you? And she like, I don't want the TV on. I say, first of all, you woke me up. I was asleep. You woke me up with the TV. And now that I'm up, you think you about to cut everything back off and lay back down? What the fuck is, what, what is your problem? Right? I'm looking at her like, what the fuck is your problem? She's like, this is not even your room. This is our room. Da, da, da. I said, you didn't pay for shit. You didn't pay for shit. My man and your man went in on this room. So if anything, it's more my room than your room. Because you have nothing to do with the business. You have nothing to do with the company. Your man wouldn't even be having no money in his pocket if it wasn't for my man. So... What are we talking about? This is not even your room. I'm going to call Tommy. Why are you still here? I thought you had to work. Da, 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 da. I'm like, I don't have to leave anywhere. I'm not going anywhere, baby. What the fuck is wrong with you? So as I'm talking to her, I'm still sitting down. And I'm like looking up at her like this. And I still got the remote in my hand. So as she running her motherfucking mouth, she's steady trying to grab the remote, y'all. So she pulling the remote. And I'm doing this. So at this point, I stands up. I stand up because, bitch, you got me fucked up. Mind you, I was sitting here eating my bagel. So, I got cream cheese, like, on my hand or whatever. It's cream cheese in my bagel sitting right here. You know, and now we tussle it over the remote. So, I stand up, right? I stand up and I push the fuck out of her. Y'all, she walks back up, grabs the fucking cream cheese. Let's say... You know, this not as big as the cream cheese, but you know how it come in the little, you know, the little circle things. She grabs the cream cheese, y'all, and smashes it up my face because I pushed her. And when she walked back up to me, she picked up the cream cheese and smashed it on my face. Y'all, as she doing this, I look over at the desk and I grab the motherfucking lamp and try to bashed that bitch in the head with it but it was plugged up so i only hit her i only hit her with like the shade and the, i think the light bulb had broke so when i went like this the the lamp kind of stopped itself because it was still plugged up but the top of the lamp did hit her in the head so now she walking up to me doing this at this point y'all i had just basically lost that fight with leprechaun you feel me i'm 
in a war with my mind and my mom and my family. You know what I mean? I'm feeling the lowest of the low right now in this room with y'all. And you want to fight me. Y'all, she walked up to me trying to windmill. I grabbed that bitch hair and <laughs> all face shots. I had these long, I had these long, uh, was they crochet dreads? I think I did crochet some dreads in my hair. And I might have the video of after this fight. Y'all, she tried to pull my hair, but they crochets. They coming out and my hair was just like kind of growing back around this point. So especially the ones in the front, my hair was barely braided under the crochet. So as she pulling, they just coming out. So she end up on the ground while she pulling my hair. I feel her face on my fist. It's all right hand action. Bah, bah, bah. I'm giving her all face shots. And I'm like, I don't want to fight you. I don't want this. She on the ground like, oh. Y'all, so now I'm gathering my stuff. I'm like, I got to get the fuck out of here. Like, this white girl just made me whoop her ass. Like, she wanted that. I'm sleep. I'm sleep. You cut all the lights off and the TV off. So when I wake up, now you cutting the lights off and the TV off. Then you think you about to wrestle with me over this remote. Then you put the cream cheese on my face she wanted that she asked for it. she begged for it and my mental at that time especially because i didn't do what i needed to do with leprechaun i know i didn't you know i was caught off guard i was just had got off work i was not ready for that fight you know what i mean i gave her a run for her money but she she won that fight now here's this opportunity to take all of this in my head out on you she wanted that she wanted that y'all she begged for that face shots i'm not scratching i'm i did pull her hair because when she started pulling my hair it's just all right hand action at this point i fucked that girl up she wanted it she asked for it so now i'm going around the room trying to get my stuff because i have to get the fuck out of here you know white girls they like to call the police right <laughs> so i'm getting my stuff she's on the phone with somebody i believe she called her mama you know her people stay out in flint where her and tommy you know where they were from so she's on the phone with her mom i go towards the door all i have is my purse i didn't have like no bag or anything because i wasn't living in the room i was just staying in the room trying to be up under my man because when the twins come home i'm at my mom's house i go towards the door to try to get out do you know this girl walked up to the door and slammed it and put all her body weight on the door i'm holding the door trying to open it and she's slamming it closed like trying to keep me from opening it while she's on the phone with her mom she hit me she hit me she hit me her mom's like call the police call the police she's like no she won't let me leave i'm like girl you won't let me leave so now i'm calling ghosts i'm calling him he like what the fuck is happening i'm like this girl just made me beat her ass she made me beat her ass and now she won't let me leave so now tommy is calling becca's phone and she's still holding literally all her she was she was not a small white girl she was not she has all her weight on the door while i'm trying to pull it open i'm like you just got your ass beat why are you keeping me in this room i feel like she was trying to call the police maybe her mama was calling the police she was trying to keep me there like trying to get me arrested I don't know what the fuck she was trying to do, but I'm feeling like I need to get up out this room with this white girl. Y'all, I finally bust up out the room. I'm going to insert. I know I got it. I know I seen it. I'm going to insert the video from when I'm leaving the room. I got fucking cream cheese on my fucking face. Bitch, I'm chilling, trying to eat my fucking bagel, my free fucking bagel. The fuck, this bitch, bitch. Fucking cream cheese, bro. This all started over some fucking cream cheese. Fucking white people, bro. <laughs> it's all out. Two came out. That bitch got two out of me. The ones on the ends that was barely holding on in the first place. I have to take
take them all out. Nah, man. Now I want to go back and get my two dreads. Bitch, because this is three packs and I still need more packs. Bitch, I need my two dreads. Right? So, y'all, the day is going on. Um, Ghost and Tommy eventually get done with their job. And Ghost is telling me, like, come back up here. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk. Let's talk. Like, the twins not coming home till tomorrow. So, we got another night together. Like, come back up here, y'all. I'll go back up to the room. I'm not even sure where I went after that. I think I had went to Angel House because I didn't have to work that day. I think I went to Angel House and I did end up telling her, like, girl... You wanted to be harassed, but I, I got her good. Like, I, she asked for it. I did not want to fight that girl. Like, nine times out of ten, I knew she couldn't fight. But, you know, she could have surprised me. She definitely surprised me putting that cream cheese on my face. I beat the fuck out of her, right? So, I go back up to the room, y'all. Her face is purple and green. Her also motherfucking black. She got scratches all on her face. Her lips swole. She's fucked up. Right? So, I come in there like, I'm looking around. Tommy, Tommy don't give a fuck. I'm telling you. I think you would have to pinch his nipple to even get him to react and say anything. Like, you would have to do something to him. Like, he had no conversation, no personality, nothing to say about anything, no comment, no opinion, no facial expressions. The man was like a mute, like, <sighs> y'all, y'all. So I walk in the room and I'm looking at, you know, Becca like, bitch, I'll do that shit again. You know what I'm saying? And Ghost um, ends up pulling me back outside and he was like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of happy you did that and i'm like what he was like she talked too much she do too much and i'm so happy you be harassed like i'm sorry you had to but i'm happy that you did i'm like she begged for it i feel like she wanted to be able to call her family and like oh say like oh i'm going through it and maybe they'll send her some money or tell her to come back home like i think she was looking for a reason to be like oh woe is me i need to leave i need to go home or some shit like that so, um, I was talking to Ghost and he goes back in the room and I told Becca, like, Becca, can I talk to you outside? She was like, I don't want to fight. And I'm like, I don't want to fight either. I didn't want to fight you earlier. Like, just come outside and let me talk to you. So I'm telling her, like, look, you know that you asked for that shit. And I did not want to fight you. I would have never fought you for no reason. Like, Angel was trying to beat your ass and I literally stopped her. Like, so why would I turn around and then fight you? Like, I didn't want to do that. You asked for it. She like, no, I understand. My mom told me, told me that I just need to come back home and I just need to go home. And I'm like, yeah, because I don't understand what all of that is for. Like, you did all of that for nothing. And I don't really remember how that conversation ended, y'all, but this is my life at this point. I'm staying at rooms with ghosts on the weekends or whenever the twins are gone and when the twins come back we're staying at my mom's because my house was literally falling apart my brother came and took the toilet but was taking his sweet time fixing it up y'all he was taking his sweet time fixing it up and i guess i could tell y'all a little bit at this part as time is going on i probably have been at my mom's for like maybe three or four months and you know i'm still getting the rooms with ghosts when i can and sometimes the girls would come up to the room if i keep them on the weekend and we would go swimming and stuff like that and you know sometimes i still work nights at the airport so you know the twins and ghosts would be at the room while we used to get a room like right by the airport and you know i would go to work and then come back to the room like when we had the twins and eventually y'all um, my brother ends up throwing away my whole house, right? So I remember like it had started to get cold and I had called my brother because he's the only one with the key. Now they had changed the locks to my house. He's the only one with a key to my house. And mind you, it was a two family flat. I believe my brother was staying upstairs at the time. So he had changed the locks and it's like, oh, I need to come get you know, some of my boots and my coat. And he like, oh, sis, we got rid of all of that. 
And I'm like, what? And he was like, well, you know, we had to clean the house out so we can, we can rent it out. I said, so you threw all my clothes, like my bed, all the twin stuff, like you threw everything away. And he like, yes, yeah, sis, I'm sorry. I wasn't sure what you was doing. You know, me and you haven't really talked. And mama wasn't saying nothing. I told her I was doing it. So, you know, I'm sorry, sis. So I'm back living with my mom. I'm in these hotels with ghosts and the twins. I'm working midnights at the airport. I... I have no no clothes, nothing of my own besides what's on my back and whatever I drug over to my mom's house. This is this is the beginning of the end right now. This was the lowest I had ever felt in my life. And who knew that it could get it could get worse, right? So make sure you guys join the membership for the next part um, because I I don't even know how this how I'm gonna do this, but I have to. This is part this is part of my journey. I feel like this is what I'm here for. So until next time, you guys, be productive, be safe, and have fun.